basically the indicator at the moment looks like this it's in our data window so if you go view to your data window you'll see that in your data window you have you have the this new set of data previously we got we had all this information here which is uh, with your pivots your um, your support resistance your v2 trend information but now what we've got is we've actually got this information here which is basically your your r this is your uh, your system performance tracker so you've got your actual equity the top the very first thing in this you'll notice your actual equity which is basically this actual equity is the amount of money that this system has made and that should that should match up perfectly with your your equity graph so your actual equity 3400 and that's for the couple of months that this been is being tracked now what you've then got is you've got your all R line now that this all R line is basically that is going to give you the amount of money that is made using your your circuit breaker so this is this all R line is tracking your uh, sorry my apologies this all R line is where your circuit breaker kicks in so if you're running your system and you've got an actual equity of 3400 your circuit breaker or your system will turn off on its circuit breaker at $2,840. So that's the dollar value at which your system will turn off completely. So this system here will stop trading at $2,840. That's your circuit breaker for all trades. Now what we've got is we've got it then broken down into, like I said, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, all trades. Then and the reason why if you have a look at this the reason why you've got red and green is that the days that are red mean basically means that that is that day is off it's hit its circuit breaker and the and the actual it's hit its R multiple drawdown or circuit breaker and that day of the week has been turned off and that day won't come back on again until you you either hit your bounce entry point or you get back above that drawdown value so whatever you've selected as your drawdown whether it's eight hundred and forty dollars or five hundred dollars or whatever it is that won't turn back on and go green again until that value that value so that means that you don't have to manually go in anymore and check if that day's off or on it'll just be green so it's telling you that tuesday wednesday Thursday, Friday, you should be trading this system. Sunday, Monday, that has to be off. So it's nice and easy. So what it's saying is that the the top line always represents how much money has been made on the strategy for that day. So on Mondays, all trades, the total value is negative four hundred dollars. On on Monday, the circuit breaker was at negative two hundred, so it's obviously hit its circuit breakers as negative 400 and what it's telling you is that the Monday R equity that's that's calculating the um, yeah it's just trade green so the R equity is basically the cumulative value of that of uh, of that system so with your fully optimized strategy you will be constantly tracking your R equity so when we get down to the bottom of this you'll see that we'll have a a overall R, R equity and that'll be it's at the moment there's a little bit of a bug in this as far as adding this R equity up as you can see it's, the green ones are at zero so Mike's just working at the moment to turn those on so they actually calculate those and then fill that information down here so what you'll have is as time goes on as these systems turn these days that we turn on on and off you'll actually have a you'll actually have a actual equity and then down the bottom you'll have your what we call your R equity which is your optimized system equity so it's tracking how this system performs every week and cumulatively adding that amount up so basically the best way to describe that is let's say that um, this this chart represents a Monday and we'll say that your equity high here is three thousand six hundred and eighty dollars let's assume that you uh, you got knocked out at three thousand four hundred dollars so 
you basically have a, an equity of $3,400 and, and the system's turned off. So what will happen is on a Monday, your, your R equity would be $3,400 because that's when the system turned off and it hasn't been traded again. So 3400 Now, on the normal system, if this, if this goes back down to zero, on the normal system, you would have lost all that money if you had have traded through that drawdown. However, because your system got turned off at its R circuit breaker, you, your profit for a Monday was $3,400. That hasn't changed. It hasn't kept trading. It, you just Your circuit breaker kicked in at, uh, at that drawdown, and, and the system that day turned off. So you've kept that equity in, in there as R equity. So that is your R equity. Now, for the trader who doesn't have a circuit breaker, then basically he's trading that all the way down until he loses all of that profit down to zero. So when we look at our when we come in to look at our system performance tracker, we can say that right well the the overall system, the actual system's made three thousand four hundred dollars or whatever the value is, but our R equity will be the amount that's been cumulatively tallied across the board on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and it'll you'll see that it'll be significantly more than that. Now, as I mentioned, there is a little bit of a bug in here at the moment. Days of the week aren't auto auto summing, but Mike is going to send a little fix out on that either today or tomorrow and that will basically just uh, you'll just be able to import that and that'll just basically override that little but basically it will still do the same function it has it, you want it to do as far as its drawdown so it'll be telling you so really the the value of this system is that it automatically tells you when to turn the system on and off based on it being either green or red so green or red is the uh, the determinant as to whether you're running the system or not running the system at this stage. So obviously there's a few things that I want to build into this in addition to this and there will be different phases of we also want to have a running tally of its drawdown daily so we want to have a tally of you know the Sunday drawdown, the Monday drawdown, the Tuesday so we can visually see quickly how much, how much as far as a dollar amount the drawdown has been for those systems. Any questions on that? Do, do you want me to go through that again? Um, as I said, the indicator is set up so it represents, it shows all of the trades and then it breaks down the performance based on the longs and shorts. So it's doing all three. That that information will probably stay in the system performance tracker. Now that's that's how it looks at the moment. As I said, we'll be adding three additional bits of information here to to, so we can have a little bit more information at a snapshot. Now, the phase two of this is to have this information producing this type of a equity graph in a website. So I'm going to once once every once you give me feedback on the system performance tracker, what you want in there, what you want included, excluded, then I can take that information lock down our final product and then start getting the website built for this to show basically as a kind of a trade station look so it'll come up with our performance graph based on our R multiple so at the moment we don't have a like oh, I'm a visual person I like to see an, uh, an equity graph um, I also want to kind of track uh, the multiple time frames because remember that if you're running multiple time frames, you're definitely going to want to run this on those time frames and feed into one optimized strategy. So this at the moment is just tracking 9 till 9.10. So then you would go to your, say, afternoon crude session and you would load up your um, afternoon crude session and you might say, right, well, um, I'm, I might only want to be trading, I want to include my afternoon session into my morning session running at running you know just on the one equity graph and then I can basically feed that information into the one equity graph and and know exactly what times of the day I should be trading and what days of the week I should be trading so guys that's that's the system performance tracker at the moment it's very simple it's just telling you basically based on your R multiple when you should be on or when you should be off 
Um, I wouldn't worry too much about this information down the bottom here. They're, they're, that's just tracking uh, on the chart, and it really uh, it's really something that we're going to kind of make or we'll make invisible as we go along. So that'll be off the chart, but at the moment it's on there. So this is really the key, the data window. Any questions so far on on uh, the system performance tracker as it stands at the moment? So what you really need to do when you first get this is to go in and um, and work out what your circuit break is going to be, your R multiple, and then once you've got that information, as we've done with uh, with that uh, that spreadsheet, once you've put together, you know what your your system looks like as far as when you want to turn it on, when you want to turn it off. Then it's a case of uh, going in there, putting in your standard settings, and then running the system. And the system will tell you when you should be trading different days of the week based on based on the uh, the performance. But you definitely need to run you need to run your optimized uh, system, and you need to run your raw system as well because that raw system will be critical to tracking your results and maintaining that uh, those results on a on a day by day basis so guys any questions so far any um, any anything you want me to cover or anything I've missed or anything that you uh, any questions you want to ask in relation to that before I uh, now it is it is up and up and running on the website so you can go in there now and download it straight away. So as I mentioned before, it is there under that uh, under the dashboard. So you can go and jump in and, and download that straight away. Uh, everybody's everybody's clear with the uh, the walkthrough. Nothing else I need to add there. I'm sure I'm sure there'll be questions that pop up later. Covered everything. It's fairly simple. I mean, once you get into it, you just really need to go into the format analysis and and just set your parameters so that's that's really about it but uh, a valuable tool and going to be going to be extremely important as we move forward because dynamically it'll it'll once we get it to the website stage it'll start setting alerts up for you uh, so really if you think about this as your as your um, your system we'll have all of these systems uh, providing information on a web browser and they'll be setting up alerts telling you when to, uh, you know, when to turn, when the system turns on and off, and that'll be automatically tracked. So, you know, you won't have to then go in and turn a system off. It'll automatically just drop off, and it'll be trading based on your settings or the best settings. So that'll be uh, that'll be fantastic. So guys, that's uh, that's where we're at at the moment. Um, have a read through the uh, the information I've posted up. Um, we'll, put through those videos as well and um, and if you do have questions uh, get back to me please but there's about a week we're going to allow for a week for you to go through and have a look at the tracker and add or take away anything that you like or don't like and then um, uh, send that information through and we'll, uh, we'll make sure we integrate that into the actual product the final product so thanks for your time have a super uh, super rest of the day or evening depending on where you are and I look forward to uh, catching you in real time. And it's just starting to uh, to kind of push up. The volatility is increasing on coffee, so there will be there will be some additional filters we include into this system performance tracker, like volatility, like the seasonal data that we've spoken about. But they'll come on the second phase of the, of this. So the first phase is obviously to concentrate on the system performance tracker, then. We'll be int introducing the money management part of it, which is the fixed ratio and uh, the fixed fraction, fixed ratio, the drawdown, uh, the rate of decrease. That information will be imported into the uh, the system performance tracker as well. So it'll it'll evolve into a fairly significant uh, part of our trading, and um, it'll just get bigger and bigger, and uh, and it'll it'll have just more of a uh, really good. So guys. Uh, Look forward to catching you on Thursday for the What's Hot session. And, uh, and for those of you who I catch tomorrow, all the best, and, uh, and we'll, uh, we'll see you later. Cheers.